friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today for an unboxing of a company that I've actually never unboxed, that I've actually never purchased from. Now I won one canvas from Bev B and um, I actually have not opened that canvas yet. I keep meaning to, um, but <laughs> Um, I putting things all over the place here, but <gasps> so pretty and sparkly. Yeah. So the the other painting is a um, bee painting, and I want to get to it, but I keep thinking it'd be fun to pull it out in spring. So anyway, this distracted by diamonds kit. I have funny that I say spring is actually night garden by Bob Doucette. And it's a square. It's a 62 by 93 centimeter. And this one has kind of caught my eye. Now, <laughs> there is instructions on the back of the box. Um, I have just, you know, I've wanted to get Distracted by Diamonds, but it's kind of a large, expensive purchase. And you kind of have to be like ready and willing to... to to purchase it right away um, or else somebody will get it and this painting actually I got spur of the moment because I was just I'll, I'll be honest a little bit dealing with some drama and I don't know if you can see it on this picture, but there's a little child that's sleeping and there's a beautiful garden, but in the garden are goblins. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's really not even that serious, but for some reason, this painting just spoke to me about how sometimes things, some things can be so rosy looking or people keep things rosy looking and, but underneath lurks things that might not be so pleasant. So the painting came like this. It was not in a bag. Um, it looks like everything is rolled up in it. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think that's part of the box. And I think I have it the wrong way. Got the camera angled so you can kind of get a view. Wow, this is actually a really big diamond painting. I think I was paying attention, but I didn't think I realized it would be this large, but wow. Okay, so we have our ledger and our picture. There's 40 colors and this is a square. So I like that these are all bagged up. I'm not gonna pull them out because they are just so nicely put in here. And you can just kind of see the colors. I don't believe there's any ABs, but let me just verify on here. Yes, I don't see any ABs. Um, this does come with, it looks like two release papers. And this is their toolkit. So inside the toolkit, there is A boat, two things of wax, a skinny four placer, and a single place pen. So it's just a nice, simple toolkit. And then you also get these containers, this little container. So that's nifty. Just a little neat five piece container. Cool. Okay. Okay, so let's look at this canvas. We have the name of the piece written right here and the artist. Now this is actually a pretty thick canvas. It's not soft, but it's thick. These are scalloped edges so that it doesn't fray. You've got a ledger right here. And then, oh no. <laughs> You've got a ledger right on this corner right here. Um, <laughs> the oh no is that if you follow my channel at all, I like when there are numbers and there's some good lined up numbers here, but what is this? 
what, what, what is this? <laughs> Zero is one, one is two, two is three, three is four. And then thankfully they like skipped and they like got back in sync, but well, you know, I'll just be making my stickers and I won't put, oh my gosh, I'm dropping so many things today. Um, the numbers on there. Anyway, um, let's look and see. I do like their logo that they have at the top of this canvas, the Distracted by Diamonds. And I do think that these flowers are gonna look really pretty. Um, I can just see, they, I think they will be really pretty drilled. Now I'm just looking at the um, drill clarity and I do think it's pretty clear, but this, and I do think you'll be able to tell with these symbols, these Ys are slightly less dark than the threes. So I'm not so worried about that, but it does look like you're not going to have a ton of color blocking up here. It's more, but um, for the most part, you're going to have this kind of confetti in the background. And I think that the child is rendered pretty well. I think that will turn out well. I do think the flowers will be really pretty. I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous about these goblins in the background if you're going to be able to see them when drilled because um, on the canvas you can't see them so well. But I do know that, um, you know, sometimes some things are not so clear. Um, before the drills are on. Now this guy right here, <laughs> he reminds me of like a Yoda, a Yoda's friend, if you can see him right there. Um, I think there's a frog and this little guy that's like peeking out right here. Um, it's just kind of a fun image to look at, but it's kind of like, it's a cute, but kind of a little dark. And I thought this might be fun for Halloween time, but it might be also fun to do in the springtime. And so um, I think that this will be fun. Let me know if you guys know very much about this artist or this painting. Um, I kind of looked it up a little bit, but I couldn't find much information, but I um, got some snippets. I think this is one of his main, most famous works. And um, yeah, so anyway, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I will see you guys in another video.